Welcome to BIR Matters Guide. Ang topic natin sa video ito ay kung kailangan ba magparegister ng libro sa BIR taon-taon. Every December pag nagpupunta ako ng BIR, always ko nakikita ang pila para sa gusto magparegister ng libro or book sub accounts ng business. Under po sa bookkeeping requirements, the taxpayer may maintain its book sub accounts in any of the following manner. Una, pwede po yung manual book sub accounts. Yan yung pangalawa, Pwede po yung loose leaf books of accounts. Then yung pangatlo, pwede po yung computerized books of accounts. Sa topic na ito, may dalawang revenue memorandum circular na pwede natin maging guide sa pagparegister ng libro or books of accounts sa BIR. At ito ang revenue memorandum circular number 29-2019. Then revenue memorandum circular number 82-2008. Ang RMC number 29-2019 applies to new registrant or those who will start their business kung saan sinasabi dito na the manual books of account shall be registered before the deadline for filing of the first quarterly income tax return or the annual income tax return whichever comes earlier. Dahil po sa RMC na ito, ang libro ay hindi na po prerequisite sa pagparegister sa BIR. Meaning kung ikaw ay new registrant at nagregister sa BIR on February 14, ang libro ay hindi kailangan i-register on same day. Pwede siya i-register on the following day pero hindi lalagpas ng May 15 na deadline ng first quarterly income tax return. Kasi ang sabi sa RMC, the manual books of accounts shall be registered before the deadline for the filing of first quarterly income tax return or the annual income tax return whichever comes earlier. So another illustration, kung ikaw ay new registrant at nag-register sa BIR on August 20, ang libro ay hindi kailangan i-register on same day. Pwede siya i-register on the following day pero hindi lalagpas ng November 15 na deadline ng first quarterly income tax return niya during the initial year of operation. Kasi ang sabi sa RMC, the manual books of account shall be registered before the deadline for filing of the first quarterly income tax return or the annual income tax return whichever comes early year. Another illustration, kung ikaw ay new registrant at nag-register sa BIR on November 20, ang libro ay hindi kailangan i-register on same day. Pwede siya i-register on the following day pero hindi lalagpas ng April 15 on the following year na deadline ng annual income tax return mo during the initial year of operation. Kasi ang sabi sa RMC, the manual book sub account shall be registered before the deadline for filing of the first quarterly income tax return or the annual income tax return whichever comes earlier. Kung ako ang tatanungin nyo dito, ang ma-advise ko sa inyo ay magparegister agad ng required book sub account sa pan-registration. Kasi paano kung nag-operate ka na tapos mag-tax mapping ang BIR, eh mapipinalize ka kung wala kang books. Okay lang kasi ito na provision doon sa mga new registrant na hindi pa nag start ng operation. Now, punta naman tayo sa taxpayer na mga dati nang nakaregister sa BIR at may mga registered manual books of accounts. Ang tanong, kailangan ba nila magparegister ng books of accounts every year? Sa isyong ito dito naman natin magiging guide ang RMC number 82-2008 kung saan sinasabi dito na Manual books of accounts previously registered but whose pages are not yet fully exhausted can still be used in the succeeding years without the need of registering or re-stamping the same. Provided that Portion pertaining to a particular year should be properly labeled or marked by taxpayer. So, based po dito, pag ang libro mo ay hindi pa ubus or madami pang extra pages, pwede mo pa rin ito gamitin for the following year. Just put a label or mark on it na itong part is for another year. So, no need mo na makipagsabayan sa pila sa BIR during Christmas season at pwede mo pa ma-enjoy ang time with your family. Now, kung ang tanong mo naman ay pwede ba magparegister ng ibang manual books of accounts para sa susunod na taon kahit marami pang extra pages ang current books of accounts mo. For this issue, sabi sa RMC number 82-2008, the registration of a new set of manual books of accounts shall only be at the time when the pages of the previously registered books have all been already exhausted. This means that it is not necessary for a taxpayer to register a new set of manual books of accounts 
each and every year. So kung mapapansin mo sa provision na ito, gumamit po siya ng shall which somehow makes it mandatory na kailangan muna maubos ang pages or malapit na maubos ang pages bago ka ulit magparegister ng use it of manual books. Kaya lang dito naman sa second statement, clarify naman na it is not necessary for a taxpayer to register a new set of manual books of accounts each and every year. So by using po the word not necessary makes the registration of new set of manual books of accounts each and every year is at the option of the taxpayer. So ang taxpayer po ang may option kung siya ay magpaparegister ng bago or iko-continue niya yung paggamit ng libro. Ito po ang mga reason bakit kailangan magparegister ng new set of manual books of accounts each and every year. Una, kung i-continue mo ang paggamit ng libro tapos ang sales mo every year ay lumalagpas ng 3 million, i-subject ang books of accounts mo ng audit ng accredited independent CPA. Siyempre, pag nag-audit siya, kukunin niya ang books of accounts mo. Pag ganito, ipapano ka magre-record ng current transaction mo every day. Paano kung mag-tax mapping, eh mapipinalti ka kasi wala kang libro at hindi mo na-update ang libro mo. Pangalawang reason is that, paano kung ma-audit ka ng BIR for taxable year 2019 during year 2021? Eh makikita din ng BIR ang records mo ng 2020 na hindi naman dapat subject to audit. So in my opinion, ang pag-continue ng paggamit ng manual books of accounts to the following year ay applicable lang kung malabo ka ma-audit ng BIR Orang gross sales mo in a year ay hindi lalagpas ng 3 million. Then under pa rin sa RMC number 82-2008, ang manual books of accounts mo ay kailangan mo na ma-register sa BIR bago mo gamitin. Violation here of will be subject to penalties under the existing revenue issuances. Then under pa rin sa RMC number 82-2008, the taxpayer service section or client support section of the revenue district office has no authority to examine whether the previously registered books are completely and or updated prior to the approval of the registration of the new books. Kaya hindi po kailangan ipresent ang dati mong libro sa BIR bago ka magparegister ng bago. Regarding naman sa loose leaf books of accounts at computerized books, ang mga gumagamit po nito ay dati pong gumagamit ng manual books of accounts pero nag-upgrade po sila ng kanilang system at nag-apply sa BIR to use loose leaf books of accounts or computerized books at nabigyan naman sila ng permit to use. Ang pag-register po ng loose leaf books of accounts sa BIR ay yearly to the RDO or Large Taxpayer Division where the head office or branch is duly registered on or before 15 days after the end of each taxable year or within 15 days from the close of business operations whichever comes earlier unless extended by the commissioner or is duly authorized representatives upon request of the taxpayer before the lapse of the said period. Ang pag-register naman ng computerized books of accounts ay yearly din to the RDO or Large Taxpayer Division where the head office or branch is duly registered within 30 days naman from the close of its taxable year or within 30 days from the close of business operation whichever comes earlier unless extended by the commissioner or his duly authorized representative upon request of the taxpayer before the lapse of the said period. So, based po sa dalawang revenue issuance na ito, ang taxpayer na gumamit ng manual books of accounts ay pwede niya i-continue ang paggamit ng previously registered books of accounts niya basta may extra pages pa. Pero ang taxpayer na gumagamit ng loose leaf books of accounts at computerized books ay hindi po pwede mag-continue sa paggamit ng previously registered books of accounts kasi ginawan na nila ito ng sworn declaration kung ilang pages lang ang books nila. Then sa manual books of accounts, dapat i-register muna ito bago gamitin. While sa loose leaf books of accounts at computerized books of accounts, ginagamit muna ang libro bago i-register kasi may prior permit na sila which is the permit to use. So that's it for the topic. Don't forget to subscribe this channel. Thank you.